Workers tasked with screening airport arrivals say they're not getting the supplies they need for virus protection. With imported cases rising day by day, screeners on the front line are demanding more face masks, gloves at fit and flu vaccinations. Minister of Health and Welfare Chen Shizong moved to assure the workers on Monday, saying that officials would look into adjusting their rations. Before starting their day, these security guards gear up with gloves and masks. That's because these security guards work in airport screening and come into contact with international arrivals every day. A local report finds that the Taiwan CDC has outsourced a part of national border control to a private security company. At the two terminals of Taoyuan Airport, all 100-plus airport screening workers are private security guards. They say they work 12-hour shifts but only get one face mask a day, plus gloves of fixed sizes. As for gloves, we used to get them in XL and L. There would be so much air left at the fingertips, we could hardly use them. As for masks, we get one a day. Like this glove, with lots of room left at the end. As for face masks, the daily allotment is strictly one a day. Frontline workers say that's not enough. They also complained of not receiving vaccinations for seasonal flu. I wouldn't say that the staff protection is inconsistent with the regulations. Of course, there are some reports of a slight PP shortage, which may have led to tighter rations. We will get an understanding of the situation and try to provide more equipment for them. Some of the processes are outsourced. The contractors answer to the Taiwan CDC. So if you give your feedback to the security company and the company doesn't take action, you can take that complaint to the Taiwan CDC. I believe that all such issues can be resolved. At present, a PPE shortage has not developed. The health minister said PPE rations would be adjusted based on personnel needs. As COVID imports and asymptomatic carriers rise sharply, a vulnerable front line could give way to a public health breach.